So you guys just seen three new or Ar mythic weapons just came out for level 81. And you guys are probably wondering, uh, how are these useful? How do I use these in an efficient way to become more powerful in PvE? And the answer is going to be proc stacking. Yeah, these uh, stack. So you can use your Dozer X, switch out to the sword, which actually gives more damage than your Dozer X, which benefits you more while doing damage to groups of mobs, and it debuffs them at the same time uh, while using attacks. You don't want to charge attack them if you're using your Dozer X and then that, because you're going to want time to use your skills at the same time since Dozer X gives haste. You're going to be charging when you could be doing more damage with your skills. Um, so for the warrior, in my opinion, Dozer X is your first weapon, and then Neptaris so you can destroy bosses. Dozer X is a clear, like, newer mobs uh, at an efficient speed. And then finally at the end, Knight's Saber. Polaris is a weapon you, I mean, it's nice to have. You don't necessarily need it, depending on the maps you run, but it's just a kind of a side weapon that's nice to have, in my opinion. I stick to Neptars for bosses primarily. And I'm going to go ahead and join a map real quick. So I'm going to proc my Dozerax and then hit procs. Spam this sword. See, uh, that enemy got a blue dot on him. Blue debuff. Once your proc is out, wait like 7 seconds or so, then it'll recover. You can just proc again and then spam him. See, the uh, crab has a debuff on it and it died. So you can proc combo this. It's actually really helpful in my opinion. The way downside is it takes up another hotbar slot on a warrior, which already needs a lot. So I guess now onto the mage. So my voice sounds kind of different, I know, just because I'm using a Yeti microphone. I'm just testing it out for this video. But anyways, onto the mage. So for the mage, you kind of just want to buy Aquarius first, this staff right here. It's the most overpowered weapon in the game, uh, stat-wise, like buffing stats. And then after the staff, after you buy that, you want to buy the Smuggler's Blast Rifle. And if I show you the power of these two in a map, it will surprise you. So you can proc the staff and then go to your gun and proc your gun as your staff is procced and then it's going to debuff from enemies making them weaker. Uh, you see how fast I can clear a group of mobs? It's pretty powerful. You do want a Bond Vest though, without, a, without that, you're not going to be doing a lot of damage. That's the only downside to Mage is that a Bond Vest has to proc for you to do a lot of damage. And I died. I'm, I'm not using my normal setup, my defense loadout, because I want to show you guys something in a second. So you see this green bitch right here, I'm going to proc my staff on it. So if my staff proc, I do 49,500 damage. If I switch to my gun during the staff proc, I do 59,000 damage. 10,000 damage difference makes a big difference and also uh, the gun's basic attacks do more damage than the staff's basic attacks. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So if I proc the staff on a weapon or a mob, I swear a bond vest always procs when you don't want it to. But that's the only annoying thing about it is when you're testing something it procs when you don't want it to. But when you want it to proc it never procs. So I proc it 20, 26,000, 22,000, 26,000, 33, or 31,000. I mean, 26 to 31,000. Maybe put my defense loadout on. Alright, so 26 to 30 or 22 to 31,000 damage is the range. I proc my staff again, I go to my gun. 
59,000, 76,000, 73,000. I mean, you can see the difference right there. It's it's a big difference. So that's why you want the uh, staff after you proc your, I mean, the gun after you proc your staff. It, it gives you a huge damage buff. And you can say bye bye to bosses. As you see there, I just wiped it out in seconds. So that's the gun for you. Just proc your staff and then switch to your gun. Proc your dozer X, switch to your sword. I mean, your saber. Proc your Pisces and switch to your Bounty Hunter bow on a rogue. Rogue's kind of different. I'm going to go ahead and uh, explain that here in a second. Um, for the rogue, it's going to be different because you have some people who actually use Mariano's, the uh, Lavoidy one, the first Lavoidy one mythic bow, as their primary weapon, and they don't use Pisces at all. And then you have some people, like, if I was to play Rogue, I would use Pisces and then switch to the Mariano's bow. Um, but after these new Mythics come out, uh, I would sell my Mariano's because I wouldn't use it. And I would buy the Bounty Hunter bow and use that after I proc my Pisces. Um, I think the people who use Mariano's, the proc, are those who go for, like, leaderboards and stuff or something like that. Because... I really can't think of a way for this proc to be useful other than if you combo like your sunken vest and then this proc you'll do a heavy amount of damage but if you proc Pisces use Nox Bolt to proc your sunken vest more often and then proc Pisces and switch to that bounty hunter bow you're going to do a whole lot more damage than the Mariano's proc just by doing that so Hopefully this video kind of pointed everything out and explained that these weapons are for like end game weapons, or like the farther they're like the last weapon you kind of want to buy. Um, I don't think they're useful by themselves. They need a proc, a side proc, or something to actually be useful with.